something awesome that's in our fall winter catalog that just came back. It is our best of fall collection. Doesn't that look fabulous? It comes with all of these products. It comes with our home style chicken stew. It comes with our sweet and garlic chicken. It comes with our speedy lasagna. It comes with our beef and broccoli stir fry. It comes with, of course, our chocolate mud pie, our roasted garlic aioli, our taco seasoning, our balsamic vinaigrette, and our creamy ranch. The only item that I don't have is the garlic and onion nutritional yeast topper. I just ordered my Best of All collection and you should too. Not only does it come with all of those products, but it also comes with recipes and a 30 day meal plan, including a grocery list. Boom, your meal planning for the next month taken care of for you. Simple and easy taking the stress out of meal time. So tonight we made the sweet garlic chicken. Who doesn't love sweet potatoes and chicken? Yum. I love on the back of all of your meal solutions, not only can you make these on your stovetop in the oven, but you can also make it in our time-saving multi-purpose steamer, which I use tonight. So your recipe is here, your nutritional info, and your ingredients. It's low in sodium, it's low in sugar, it's got organic cane sugar, garlic, onion, sea salt, chives, paprika, and white pepper. It tells you here how to use it, Preheat your oven to 450, uh, cut three small potatoes into cubes, about three cups, in a large bowl, add the sweet potatoes, a tablespoon of oil, a pound of boneless skinless chicken thighs, and seasoning, toss, and then arrange on your sheet pan liner and sheet pan. Tonight though, I put it all in my multi-purpose steamer. And without thinking, I actually cooked my sweet potatoes first for six minutes, and then I cooked my chicken for four minutes and I put it all together for another three minutes. Had I been thinking though, you guys, next time I make this, I'm just going to put my chicken and my sweet potatoes and my seasoning, I'm not going to add my oil because I'm not pan frying it, um, all at once. And then I would put it in my microwave for six minutes. I'd stir it and check it and maybe add more time if the sweet potatoes and the chicken are not done. So. Tonight though, six, four, and three in 13 minutes. Look at this, I've got sweet garlic chicken. My potatoes are tender. My chicken is done and juicy. I'm using my saute spoon to dish it up. And doesn't that look and smell delicious? Yum! If you wanted, you could cook some rice with it, um, some quinoa with it, mashed potatoes with it. Well, you already have sweet potatoes, so. Can't wait for you to try this and let me know what you think. Bye guys.